Hey friends, Brian here. A little late in the blog post today, but it's my blog, my choice. Uh, I don't know if you got my email, but I want to make sure you did get that blogging toolkit that everything I use to set up an authority site to make sure that I control and own everything around it. So I shared that with you. Uh, make sure you go get it or check your email because I did email it to you. So you don't have to re-opt in and nobody likes doing that. So today I just want to really quickly talk about the follow-up. I know we've all heard it time and time and time and time again. The fortune's in the follow-up. You gotta follow up. You gotta follow up until they sign up or until they die. But the, the the sad thing is that we don't do it. And you know, a few examples. I know if I went, when I met my wife, Michelle, the first time, I was, uh, it was love at first sight. I have no problem saying that. It was love at first sight. And I literally sat next to her. I talked, you know, I, I put on the salesman. I had the salesman I had on. I was selling me. And I had to ask her, I swear, 30 some times before she said, yes, I'll dance with you. But I had to, that literally is the first step of follow up with her. And then I had to continue to follow up for over a year before I finally got her to full in purchase the Brian Cook. So it's very important. And we do it in natural things of lives. It's normally when we want something. But if you're in this business to truly help others get what they want, you gotta follow up because not everybody's always ready to make a decision right when they see your opportunity or may not may they may not recognize it or they might feel that they're pretty comfortable in life at that time. So that's why you gotta continue to follow up. I think about Tracy, uh, a, a rock star on my team that super cool story, was in the Marine Corps with his, her husband and uh, last time I saw him in 91, and I think like right around 2009, we ran into them of all places in Atlantis, Bahamas, over by the Lazy River. And we had not seen each other for a long time, but recognized each other and reconnected, uh, reconnected there. And then I really liked his wife, great personality, spoke well, fun, bubbly. And so I introduced her to, you know, my, uh, my, uh, my opportunity of, of building a business and, you know, she wasn't ready. It literally took me four years of follow-up to get her on the team, but because I cared about her, that was important to me. So to me, showing people that you care about them is just following up because they're not always ready when you're ready. And just imagine if half your calls were just follow-up calls. That would make life a lot easier. Just touches, and it doesn't have to be, hey, are you ready to join? It could be just, I, I'm ready to check in. What's going on with you? How can I help you? How can I serve you? What's new? So it's very important to check in and, and follow up with people to make sure you're fresh in their head because if you don't, next thing you know, you're gonna go on Facebook and they sign up on somebody else's team and somebody else's business. And you're gonna be upset because you didn't follow up. And it's happened to me, it's happened to all of us. And then think about this, when you see the couple, Right, we know the couple, they're married couple. The guy's like hideous and the wife's gorgeous. You know he had to have great follow-up skills. He literally got her to sign up and he wasn't gonna quit until she signed up or died. So I, uh, it's funny when Michelle and I are out and we meet a couple like that, I'm always going right for the husband because I'm like, that guy knows how to follow up. So make sure you really focus on the follow-up. You gotta have a system in place. If you don't have a system in place, it doesn't even make sense. There's gonna be so many people slipping through the cracks if you don't have a system in place. My wife's system is what she calls the one through 31 book. We have a video of that if you wanna see it. I use iCalendar because I can literally just move them through my calendar, change the color codes on them, add notes as we go and get the reminder the reminder to call somebody and you literally just go into your reminder click on the phone number and you're on the phone calling them and reconnecting with them so that's what I use have a system in place but follow up like a champ and if you do follow up like a champ you're gonna have exactly what you want in your life and remember if you truly care about these people you will follow up until they get your opportunity Thanks guys for watching. As always, please share this video and share your comments. I love to hear what you have to say. There's such great comments. You guys are such awesome people. I'm so proud and honored to be connected to you guys. So your thoughts are always welcome here. Have an amazing rest of the Saturday. Happy Valentine's Day to all of those that do stuff on Valentine's Day. Michelle and I don't. Um, but if you do, enjoy candies, roses, flowers, special dates, all that stuff. Have fun. Be great. We'll see you on the beaches of the world.